What are you most excited about over the next 20 years? What do you think will be the major transformations? How will Facebook transform? How do you think the rest of the world will transform? So we have this 10 year roadmap. Yeah, of, it was great. You know, three of the, the big changes that we want to see in the world. And we're focused on three things. Connectivity, right? So getting everyone in the world on the internet. Right now more than you know, more than half the world is not on the internet, which is you know, I think a lot of people in, in Silicon Valley probably take this for granted, right? The, the the internet, because you know, it's it just is not uniformly available. And if we wanna solve a lot of the, the big challenges of the world today, they're not problems that any one group of people or even one country can solve, right? They they really involve coming together and giving everyone an opportunity to participate in, in solving them. Um, so I think connecting everyone is, is really a key thing, which is going to um, be, be great for, for people around the world. Uh, the next one is AI. I think that that's just going to unlock so much potential in so many different domains. And you know, we use it at Facebook for a lot of different things, for showing people content that they're going to find more meaningful, um, for making sure that you um, connect with the people you actually care about on the service. But in a lot of ways, the work that we're doing on AI to push the fundamental uh, you know, state of the art forward is exactly the same stuff that's going into systems that diagnose diseases better, right? Or find better drugs to treat people, or um, that you know, other companies are using when they build self-driving cars. And you know, these are things that are gonna save lives, right? I mean, if you can, you know, I heard this story recently that at this conference where someone has built um, a machine learning application where you can take a picture of a, a lesion on someone's skin and it can detect instantly uh, whether it's skin cancer with the accuracy of the best dermatologists and, and doctors in the world. So, you know, I mean, who doesn't want that, right? I mean, now, like, you're going to be able to put the power in your doctor's hand uh, to become the best doctor in the world at that thing. Everyone will be the best doctor in the world. And it, that's a really fundamental thing, right? That, um, you know, I, I, I get a little bit frustrated, I think, when people, um, you know, fear monger about, about AI and how it, it could end up hurting people. Because I think in, in many real ways around diseases or on driving more safely, I mean, this is going to save people's Massive. lives and, and, push, and push people forward. So that, that's a really big deal, I think, for the next 10 years. And then, you know, the next thing that I, that I always think is, is going to make a big difference is... Um, you know, every 10 or 15 years, there's a new major computing platform that comes around that allows people to do completely different things than they could do before, right? So, you know, 20 years ago, you know, most of us were using desktop computers. They were you know, kind of clunky. You know, we used them in, in work because it made our work more productive, but most people didn't use them for fun. Now we have phones, which, you know, help us connect with each other, and they're much more human devices. But there's going to be another platform after that. And I think that's going to be uh, virtual reality and augmented reality. Um, and that I think is just going to help people, you know, be more creative, um, experience what other people are feeling much more immersively than, than we even can through, um, through video and things like that today. So I'm really excited about that trend as well.